All right. The Sham Sanctuary. New cutscene. There stood Colgan, who was ordered to capture Eugene. It was only Colgan without any of his men. Was he working in secrecy? Durgan. You took your guard, ready for an encore of the fourth floor battle. Hulgan didn't move. You're lucky. I don't have time to play with you. After saying this, he turned his back and walked away. He lacked his usual fierceness. In fact, it seemed like he was perplexed. But you were lo as you were lost in thought, the sudden sound of classic swords and shouting brought you back to reality. Hogan was standing off against two hand ninjas with a short sword drawn. They were supposed to be under Hogan's orders. What, what is the meaning of this? The ninjas just shrunk, swung their swords. Hogan parried the ninjas' blades with ease. The odor of scorched seal still filled the air. You know what it means to oppose me? The ninjas just raised their swords, moving like puppets. The area became surrounded by a bloodthirsty aura. The ninjas who appeared with the wind slowly surrounded the party. But Colgan whispered without changing his expression. But that's your answer. Durgan! Hogan suddenly called your name. He felt like he called on you like this some long time ago. He calls your name then. I got your back. You felt a strange feeling of trust inside of you. You can't lose. You just know it. You turned your back to Colgan and attacked the ninjas! Against the ninja! I don't remember the rest of the words of the song against the ninja! Ooh, new battle music! Matt, okay. Make up your mind whether I should be doing against the ninja or the master ninja theme song, please. Oh, there's one more quest in this level. Okay. Let's just do that, and then restrict shot. Okay, restrict shot. Then you two cast restrict shot, or you restrict, restrict shot to protect them. And then you are going to do... A buff. All right, that worked out for uh, the Gant Projection Big Shot choice.
Well, I guess this is the um, wizardry equivalent of beating an enemy and in, in, um, uh, in uh, Assassin's Creed just with parries. No matter how many were killed, more ninjas would appear one after another. And they'd also go down real easy because there's lots of them and they failed to realize the law of conservation of ninjutsu. There's no end to this. Hogan whispered as he shook the blood off his blade. Does it prepared for a long battle, a rich voice echoed throughout. A kind a voice that make anyone bow down. That kind of vo a voice. That is enough. You have done well holding up two of the Queen's guards this long. The rest of the party members are like, wait, he's one of the Queen's guards? Like, I'm like, and Durgan's like, wait, I'm one of the Queen's guards? Both you and Durgan turned your heads with the same premonition. Okay, I've missed the dialogue there. But the chief of the Queen's guards, the Dua Almse, he was standing there. He cast a cold glance at you as the kitty is trying to sit on my controller. Why, Chief? The Dua grinned at Colgan's whisper. If only you had followed orders, you would have lived long. The Dua quickly began chanting a magic spell. When the light disappeared, a giant monster stood in place of the Dua. Hulgan sneered bitterly. Chief especially was creating magic monsters. Here the duo's voice from out of nowhere. The sake of Her Majesty, Golem, finish off everyone here. Duo's planning to, finish, planning to finish you off along with the ninjas. Being, content, being condemned to death, the ninjas, ninjas didn't let out one cry of despair. Instead, they began to unsheathe their swords. Hulgan didn't look pleased. It become the chiefs, no, Dua's marionettes. Durgan, I'll guide my men to an end fit for a human. You defeat the Skolem. Nodded as you turned to the Golem. If were a signal, the Golem raised its massive arms. Another boss fight! And two spellcasters in the back row. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't want to do this. Alright. On action. Uh. Crisscross. Flesh Golem. Restrict shot on the go uh, detective front rank as well. And I'm going to have you. Mute the back row. Yes, okay, good. for this. Okay, so the next action we're going to do repeat the crisscross on the flesh golem. Repeat the exclusive shot by a Creo cast this time. Um, keeping Durgan and Hina. Hina. Um, and Okay. 
Cross. See if I can see if I can damage the golem with fire attacks. Missed. Jody, I think, helps my accuracy as well. There we go. Very Power Rangers thing. I think it casts spells. Oh, crap. Um... Okay, that's not good. Um, all right, double attack then. Okay. Uh, You know what? Let's no. You keep doing. See, you keep doing the uh, crisscross. Um. Back rank. We really need to heal, heal right now. And. to two. Not enough to kill him, but it's enough to wreck him real good. So keep doing that. And you need to heal. 
heal Durgan right now. Maybe you're more vulnerable to cold. Durgan back in it. Okay, so crisscross on you. For back rank, we're gonna do restrict shot again. You two, and we're still focusing on Paulo and Hina. And you really need to heal Hina right now. I got the wrong one, I'm gonna cast the spell again. Well, uh I'm gonna wipe. Can't run from this one. Go out like a boss. Now we're to get here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.